Good morning, everybody. We're starting today's video off going over to the hunting property. I gotta check this trail camera. For those of you who don't know or don't watch my videos, I've been looking after this buck that I call Eugene. He came in while I was hunting one day. I didn't get a clean shot at him. And it's, I've pretty much been losing sleep ever since. So I've been trying to get on some kind of pattern with this deer, but since I seen him last, I have yet to see him come up on a trail camera or anything like that. So things are not looking good, but you gotta stay consistent. I'm still trying to shoot a buck this year. And with all the snow coming down and late rut upon us, anything's possible. So we're gonna go back there. I gotta put some corn out and uh, then we're gonna go see if Eugene showed up. After that, I think we're gonna do some fishing related stuff here today. But first things first, we gotta check the hunting camera and see what's going on there. I'm running out of corn. I gotta go to the feed mill and get more. We're on our last limb here. No more corn. I'm low key about to just. <laughs> That'll work. Good enough for me. We'll go get some more corn tomorrow. All right, now we're gonna check the trail camera. Uh, I'll show you guys if anything big shows up or Eugene shows up, but uh, if it's just a bunch of does, I guess, I mean, it is. I mean, do you guys wanna see it? I'll just put it in for you, why not? All right, I'm gonna set the camera up here. Last time I checked the trail camera, there was a bunch of little bucks fighting and things like that, so that makes me believe that the late rut is on way. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, guys, there is like over 100 pitchers. Holy moly, there's a ton of pitchers. So we got this buck right here. I mean, he might be a good like worst case scenario buck, but like, I don't really know. I mean, I wouldn't mount him or anything like that, but I'm really looking for Eugene though. If I find a picture of him, I'll tell you guys exactly why I call him that, but. Wow, look at this one. This one's new and this deer is weird. What the heck? Babe, look at this one. Look how thick he is. He's a thick boy. When was that? Oh my gosh, I've never seen anything like that. That is a weird looking deer. What the heck? He's a, br I'm gonna try to shoot him. That one weird deer I'm gonna try and shoot just cause I don't want them genetics around the property. I mean, that's, that's messed up, but I mean, he's a big old deer. He'd be a cool, unique deer to shoot, so. We'll see what happens. All right, folks, we're gonna head back to the house and dabble into some fishing stuff here today. Alrighty, folks, we are back at the house. We got all that stuff done today. I gotta get out here and do some Christmas shopping, but I put out a questionnaire on my Instagram the other day, asked people, you know, what kind of video content do you guys wanna see? I'm gonna try and do the everyday uploads. It might be every other day. I'm gonna try and keep some type of consistency for you guys. I know a lot of you do like the everyday uploads, but the one thing that I kind of just felt eh about was I didn't want to put out content like constantly of just like the same thing over and over again. A lot of times I'm just doing the same thing on the hunting property or getting organized, things like that. So I don't want to make the content dry. I do have some ideas that I do have planned for the next few days that are going to be really fun content that I think you guys will like. But for today, I want to just talk about fishing tackle. A lot of you guys have been asking for fishing related content and a lot of people were asking about my arsenals, like my rod and reel arsenal my tackle arsenal and I've made quite a few videos in the past of what I got nothing has changed that much but I did just do this last night so I'm gonna show you guys what I'm working with here if you guys don't know much about me I'm not huge on having just like a hodgepodge of fishing stuff I do have a ton I'll admit like I have a lot but for the most part, I try to condense it all because I'm constantly on the move. Like I'm either fishing in the John boat, fishing in my main boat, pond hopping. Like I wanted one specific place I could have everything that I need. And the easiest way for me to do that was by putting everything in a crate like this. So I'm gonna show you exactly how I organize things and maybe I'll talk about my rods a little bit, but I don't think I'm gonna do a rod arsenal video today because I actually have some rods that are coming in the mail. They're on back order right now, so I don't know exactly when they're gonna come, but uh, you know, we'll see. I might do a rod arsenal video here come 2021. But yeah, I try to keep everything as just simple as possible. Now, I like to use a big crate because it fits all my plano boxes and everything like that. So if I open this guy up, you'll see right here that this is the easiest way for me to just take everything on the go with me all the time. I pick up this whole crate, I throw it in my truck, I throw it in my boat, wherever I need to go, I got everything there, that's the best part. I do have some stuff at home in drawers and things like that, but primarily everything that I use is right here. So if you guys look in here, I got my Plano boxes. 
So if you look right here, I got all my Plano boxes. I have some straggling baits because I've ran out of room in the majority of my boxes. I need to get more, so I just got nowhere to put them. But uh, yeah, so right off the bat, I got like a Buka Bull Shad right here. I got some other swim baits. Leave a comment down below if you guys swim bait fish because I've been looking for a good container or, or something that is just good for swim baits. I'm not huge into swim bait fishing, but I do like to dabble into stuff like this every once in a while. So, you know, recommend me a good case that I could put stuff like this in. I know there's a lot of diehard swim bait guys out there that know a lot more than I do, so I would love your suggestion. I got a Guggen bait here that I haven't opened yet, flat bang. Here, uh, some other crankbaits. I'm not gonna go through everything. I just want to show you guys. Book of bullshad. Ooh, I love that bait. So I got like my spinner bait box. I don't go that crazy into spinner baits. I have a decent amount in here, but uh, I think I need to upgrade that a little bit. I have a box with just a bunch of spooks in it. Top water spooks. A couple of frogs in there. I have a jerk bait box. These are deep diving jerk baits for like Lake Erie and stuff like that. And then uh, I have some soft plastics in here, I put these in bags because I end up taking them with me everywhere and they don't fit in anything in particular, these plastics. So these are paddle tail swim baits. These are all saucy swimmers and Kitex and bio spawns. This is all drop shot baits that I keep in here. But then we have this right here. There's something that's just so satisfying about having all your boxes in here like this. So I just love the ease of access. If I need some soft plastics, I go right in here, I grab them. If I need crankbaits, I can reach right into here, grab my crankbait box, and you know, I can set it down, I can get whatever I need out of it, and all I gotta do is put it right back. It's like having a book in a bookshelf, I love that. So I try to stay as organized as possible, I put everything in a crate, I can pick it up, bring it wherever I need with me, do things like that. That's just the easiest way I figured out on doing it. And uh, you know, some people are just looking for simple organization tips like this. If you guys are wondering, like this crate, I picked it up at Big Lots for 19 bucks. So it can be inexpensive. And it, it's also great because if it starts raining or something like that, it, it keeps everything dry. Some of you guys might be wondering why don't I keep everything in my boat? I know a lot of guys keep their rods and their tackle in their boat. I don't have any climate controlled storage. So whenever I leave like these Plano cases, anything like this, or pretty much anything for that matter in my boat, whenever it sits outside with the cover on and gets hot or whenever it's cold, you know, a lot of condensation gets in there and I end up with rusty lures, rusty crankbaits, and it sucks. It's, it's the worst thing ever and that's why I stopped doing it. So. This has been just the best possible way I have learned to condense everything and keep it organized and bring it wherever I want, when I want. Now, that's pretty much it for my tackle. That's all I really do. I'll show you guys kind of what I do with my rods. I have some down here in the laundry room that I keep. Uh, actually, some of these are my cousins. Some of them are mine. All my off-season rods and stuff like that, I keep. I'm gonna go upstairs now to my bedroom. I got some people getting ready in my house. For, we're going Christmas shopping. What up? Y'all ready? <laughs> we're, we're getting, yeah, I'm filming. We're, I keep all my rods like this in my room. I love to mount them on my wall. I like to keep them inside. I just love to keep them in my room because I don't want people breaking them. I don't want them getting touched. I don't like leaving them in the truck or anything like that. So I pretty much just have all my rods lined up here. That's how I keep them organized. I try to keep dust out of them, things like that. If I ever need anything done, I can just take it to my desk clean it up and figure it out that way. Speaking of rods and reels, actually, I'm just gonna bring this up now while you're watching this video. Shimano Corrado, if you guys want this, if you guys buy a piece of merch from my website, I'm not doing this long. Um, I'm not doing it really to make money or anything like that. A lot of people were just asking me about these hoodies, so I did a limited edition drop. So if you want a hoodie, like so. I have quite a few in that I just literally bought. I only have limited stock, so there's all different kinds of stuff. I even got pink and stuff if you guys want to get something for your girlfriend. But I told everybody in some of my videos, like if you buy a piece of merch, I'm going to go ahead and put a Shimano Corrado in one of the boxes. So if you guys want a new reel for Christmas, maybe this year, just go ahead, cop a t-shirt or something like that. If not, no big deal. Don't worry, guys. I'm going to be doing free giveaways. I'm not trying to, I'm trying to scheme out here and be like, oh, I'll buy something so I can make money. Like literally, I'm just trying to market a little bit and a lot of people have been asking about these hoodies so i just want to make them available unfortunately i gotta charge money for them because they cost money that's about it that's how i organize my tackle that's how i do 
everything that I do. If you want me to get more into depth about this stuff, I can sit down and show you guys everything that I have. But you know, again, I have tons of Arsenal videos already on here. So if you guys are curious to see what I'm working with and what I like to do, just hit the links in the description below. All right, Nat, I'm gonna get some Christmas shopping done. Tomorrow, I have a really fun video coming. I think you guys are gonna enjoy this. And uh, you know, that's about it. I think we're gonna try and do uploads every other day or maybe daily from here on out. And uh, we're gonna try and just mix it up a little bit. It's winter time, we can't always fish. I am gonna be musky fishing come next week, but I got some juicy stuff coming. So if you guys are new here, do me a favor, smash that subscribe button, drop a like on this video if you liked it, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.